so farkas lemma farkas lemma lo uh, we will be given some of, uh, some set of equations and we will be asked to find whether they are uh, uh, consistent or not so ikkada manam em cheyalante we are taking one example here manaki four uh, equations ichcharu ikkada and we have three variables in each of them so first step which is we will do uh, matrix a and column matrix b so ee matrix a ela rasamo the coefficients of these uh, variables x1 x2 x3 in uh, each of these uh, constraints ikkada raskuntam anamata see uh, you have one x1 so uh, one x1 one one x2 one and two uh, x3 so he we write here two alane we will write uh, a matrix for all of these uh, four constants then b matrix b matrix is derived from uh, uh, this uh, constants in this equation ikkada uh, by mistake two uh, ni minus two and rasaru please ignore that then the next step is we have to eliminate all of these x1 x2 and x3 from this equation ओके हाउ डू वी एलिमेट सो इक चूस्ते ईक्वेन वन अंड ईक्वेन टू फस्ट थिंग वी विलमेट एक्स वन ओके सो एक्स वन एलिमेट वी विल ऐड वन अं टू वन अं टू ऐडे दिस् एक्स वन विल बी कैंसल अंड यू विल गेट टू एक्स टू प्लस थ्री एक्स थ्री and uh, is greater than equal to 3 ikkada uh, one thing is very important that's numbering of equations okay so ikkada manam kachithanga raayalsinde entante 1 and 2 gives us this equation and we will number this equation as 5 then we also plus 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 plus chesina appudu kuda you will eliminate x1 and x2 and you will get 2x3 greater than equal to 3 so uh, don't forget to write 2 plus 3 gives you uh, 2x3 greater then equal to 3 and uh, uh, which is equation 6 and the fourth equation is uh, left still left okay minus x2 minus x3 greater 3x3 greater than is equal to 0 it as it is rastam now we have uh, uh, variables in x2 and x3 so the next uh, thing we will do is we will eliminate x2 so x2 ela eliminate chestam so we need to multiply uh, equation 5 with uh, 1 by 2 and add that in equation 4 so that will eliminate our x2 so uh, it is very important to write here 1 by 2 into equation 5 gives you x2 plus 3 by 2 x3 greater than equal to 3 by 2 and number that equation as 7 now to eliminate x2 you will add this equation 7 and equation 4 so e adding equations 4 and 7 gives you this and uh, eliminates x2 variable and number this equation as 8 now you are left only with uh, variable x3 so how will you eliminate this x3 so So multi simply multiply this equation six with three by four, which gives you equation nine. That is three by two x three greater than equal to nine by four. Okay. Now when you add uh, equation nine and equation eight, you will get zero greater than equal to fifteen by four, which is not true. This is a contradiction. And man, kaval sindi kodai the. Then next step, what you will do is you will backtrack. ओके सो लास्ट इक्वेशन नईन प्लस एट सो नईन प्लस एट वी विल रईट अंड वी विल बैक ट्राक असल नई प्लस एट एला वो नईन एला वाइन एट एला वे सो वी विल बैक ट्राक अंड इनीशि नंबर वरक मैं इनीशि नंबर मन इनीशि नंबर आर् वन टू थ्री अं फोर सो ई वन टू थ्री फोर टर्म्स नईन प्लस एट अने रास्को मन सो नई हाउ डिड वी गेट दिश नईन अंत Uh, see, go back. Uh, I told you it is very important to write these uh, numberings. Okay, so we got nine from three by four into six gives us nine. So three by four into equation six gives you nine. And uh, uh, then where did we get this six from? Okay, we got this six from two plus three. So write two plus three in place of six. And uh, where did we get this eight from? So we got this eight from four uh, plus seven. Okay, write four uh, plus seven in place of eight. Now two and three are uh, initial variables, and four is also initial variable, so it doesn't bother them. But seven, seven is not initially given to us. So uh, where did we get this seven from? Backtrack and see 
uh, we got 7 from 1 by 2 into 5 so write 1 by 2 into equation 5 in place of 7 now 5 is also not our initial uh, equation so we will backtrack where did we get this 5 from so we got this 5 from 1 plus 2 equation 1 plus equation 2 so write uh, 1 plus 2 in place of 5 now we have initial uh, variables uh, that's 2 3 4 1 and 2 so bring all this uh, 1 at one side 2 at one side and 3 at uh, one place and 4 at one place so you will get uh, 1 by 2 into equation 1 plus 4, 5 by 4 into equation 2 plus 3 by 4 into equation 3 plus equation 4 gives you 9 plus 8 so simply we can say that uh, multiplying these equations with so and so number and adding, adding them eliminates all of the uh, coefficients so from these uh, coefficients we will write uh, matrix column matrix y so y is equal to 1 by 2 5 by 4 3 by 4 and 1 this is our column matrix y so now we have uh, a b which we wrote initially and we have y matrix also now what we will do is we will multiply a transpose with y so a transpose is nothing but uh, writing that matrix uh, in a horizontal way okay matrix a see here column becomes row and row becomes columns so a transpose into y which gives you 0 okay then b transpose into y which is uh, f minus 5 by 4 which is less than 0 so the conditions are satisfied and we can conclude that the equations are consistent so uh, initially see these are the conditions for uh, 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 certificate of infeasibility that's uh, proving the Farkas lemma that uh, matrix y should be greater than equal to 0 a transpose y should be equal to 0 and b transpose y should be less than 0 this is what we proved here see a transpose y is equal to 0 and b transpose y is less than 0 therefore the conditions are satisfied and we can conclude that the given system of equations are inconsistent that's it thank you